Hi guys, um, it's Aki here. Um, I'm just making a video. Um, I mean, I've done a, a similar video um, in the past, but a lot of comment I got, a positive comment, but at the same time, a few negative things where the sound was, uh, wasn't recorded um, properly. So I decided to uh, make a new video and add a few things to it, um, which a lot of you guys requested. Um, so guys, um, <clears throat> thank, you, thank you for joining me. And um, don't forget to um, subscribe to the channel. Um, if you're a new trader, I can guarantee you, it will help you with your trading um, in the long run because I am posting um, weekly analysis um, and a lot of um, signals through my Telegram channel as well. Um, if you're interested, you can all more than welcome to join. Um, but today's video is is regarding um, things that a lot of a lot of you guys actually um, fail fail to identify, and a lot of you guys probably doing things with or without knowing. Um, the mistakes you are making. So hopefully this video, the things I'm going to share um, will help you towards your trading. Right, so um, let me get started. Um, first thing is, right, this, this, this topic which I want to um, um, touch on is why do, 80, why do 85 to 95 percent of the traders lose money? That is a huge percentage. So guys, first thing is first, this is the reason that guys actually losing that kind of money because they do they are not taking it forex seriously they're just coming in to make money they are not taking it as a business end of the day forex is a business just like any other other businesses that we all um you may may be involved in it's exactly the same way this forex works exactly the same way as any other businesses so that's the bit that you need to understand and guys that are coming in to make big money with a small money, big money, those are the ones that get burned. And they couldn't find the answer why. Because they're not taking it. They're not managing the risk. They're not managing, they don't have any strategy. They don't have any plan. And that's how they're losing the money. It's not because of Forex is um, difficult to make money. It's not difficult to make money. It's just keeping things simple, finding a strategy that will make. But few things that even uh, traders with, uh, um, with a strategy, they're losing money. Is probably because if you look at this slide, maybe one or two things that you're probably not um, taking it seriously. Maybe that, that is the reason that you are losing money. So let's see if, if, this, if there's something that you are missing with your trading strategy or trading plan. That might maybe something that from here you can add to improve your trading. Because I know throughout last year and a half, I met a lot of hundreds of guys um, through my Telegram channel. And I am actually daily basis, I'm working with them now. And a lot of them guys, were good traders, but they were missing little, little things. Some of the missing trading psychologies, some of the missing um, not managing the risk properly. So I have worked with that and improved the trading. Um, so hopefully this will help you too as well, um, regardless of if you're an experienced trader or if you're just struggling to push yourself to the next level. Um, hopefully this will help. Right, <clears throat> on the left is the guys that actually makes money. The 5%, 5 to 10% that actually makes money is on the left. On the right is the reason that they lose money. So let me touch on the left hand side um, around here. Well, all the professional traders, all the traders that makes money, they have a trading plan. They have written down all the rules. No matter what happens, they'll be out of the market. And no matter what happens, if they're in a good trade, they will stay on the good trade. So they know the limit they do not over trade so if they make money in the morning first two trades or first trade they will call it a day because this is the trading plan and this is my trading plan as well if i hit my target i'm done it doesn't matter if the market is going to give me a thousand opportunity and throughout the day i am sticking to my trade plan so if i hit my target i'm done and this is what most professional traders do they manage their risk very 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 seriously it doesn't matter what the market do, they will not get greedy. They will stick to the trade plan and they will be out at the same time. Men, that is part of dis discipline. They have that discipline. This is the bit that most of the new traders fails. Discipline. Risk management discipline is the one that it's, it's, it's most commonly used, but this is the one that we fail to add to our trading because a lot of the time we do certain things, we don't realize that we are not following any plans. And that is the reason that you need to have trading discipline, which doesn't, um, doesn't happen overnight. It takes a lot of time, a lot of time to build that. You probably think one year later, you probably think, oh, I did it. No, 
I've seen many traders blowing their accounts even after they're making first year money, second year, boom, gone. Because they haven't built that discipline. They haven't built the solid foundation as yet, as they think. Because they make money, they think they made it. It takes a lot longer. Um, you could be a good trader, but it takes a lot longer to get this where you have built the business. And trading discipline, it could take you up to a year. It could take you two years. But writing it down, it can help you get there faster. If you just say, I have got the discipline, it's not going to work. You need to put it onto your front of your computer or desk, wherever you trade, all your rules, all everything that you will be doing, no matter what the market do, you're going to stick to your plan. And that's how you're going to build your trading um, discipline. The, the, <clears throat> the professional traders, the traders that makes money, they know when to fight the market and when to not. When they are wrong, boom, they're out. When they're right, they will, no matter what you do, they will stick to it. And that's because they have the knowledge and when they know it's gone, they, they just accept it. And this is the one that all the guys that actually made it, making money on a regular basis, they know this part is so important. Good level of sleep. For new traders, it's not gonna make much, much difference because they haven't experienced it. For guys that actually went through this journey, they know how important the sleep is. Trading, you have to have exactly the same as any other job. If you, got, uh, if you need to start, uh, wake up in the morning at six o'clock in the morning, you know you need a good night's sleep for you to have a good day of work. And this is exactly the same. We need to have a sleeping pattern and we all have different time zones. So we will be trading different times. So we need to work out our, throughout our um, everyday life what is the best time to get the good sleep and when is the best time to trade. You can't just no sleep, wake up in the morning and you expect to make money. You will not make money because your mind has to be sharp. For you to be that 10%, you have to be on the point. And that, that is the reason that you need a good sleep. You have to be focused. And guys that loses money, they could be a good trader, but they have no limits. What they think is they, they, today is the day to make money. So they will wake up in the morning, I'm going to make money. I need to make money. Professional traders, they don't say, I need to make money. They know the, the money will come as long as they stick to the plan. So they would trade with no plan. So even if they make good money, they will not stop. They will try to make more money and end up losing all. They have no risk management. They would just trade, trade, trade. If everything goes well, they would double, quadruple their account. When things go wrong, they blow their account and they have no trading discipline. So all three fall into the same category. And they will not accept. If they have a bad day, bad run, they will not accept the defeat. They will say, no, I'm going, it's, it's one more trade. I just need one more trade. And this is what's gonna happen. Oh, just one more, one more. And eventually, finds out all, every one of them they're taking is loss after loss after loss. Because they're not stopping it. They're just fighting the market. They're not accepting they're wrong. And sleeping, they just think that's just a joke. Sleeping does not even exist in Forex. It's a business. That is the reason that you're not accepting sleep is important. If you, if you are running your own business, you will see, you will know how important the sleep is. If you need to work 12, 13 hour shift, you need to manage your um, staff. You know how much sleep you need for you to be sharp. You need to make sure that your business is running well. If you don't have any sleep, you're not going to perform well next day. So that is my uh, that's what i do on the left that's me and that's the way i have my this slide actually on have it on my desk literally just glued on even have a good run there's no temptation comes into play because i look at this aki this is telling you you promised me you made a promise to yourself this is what you're going to do and you're going to follow through and this what this is what i've done even if there's any temptation comes where you're like, it's a good trade let's go um you made your money but it's another good trade but just to stop me, I just remind myself. So I, I, I advise you guys as well. Just don't say I'm going to do it. Just write it down. And then you will see. You will follow through. Otherwise, trading is something that nobody, we just a computer or laptop and ourselves. No one's going to say, don't do this, don't do that. It's the only way we're going to do that is if we have our own plan and we stick to our own plan. Um, hopefully that makes a lot of sense to you guys. And I hope you do add certain things that I'm just, I just mentioned to your trading and you'll see the difference. 
Um, so that's uh, in terms of why they're losing money is because there's no, no trade plan, no discipline, no risk management. Um, here's another thing that um, I do myself. Um, if you can get my chart up. Um, a lot of guys actually requesting, Aki, can you show um, how you manage your risk? I mean, I have done quite a few videos regarding that. And also my Telegram channel, I always advise you to do what I'm doing. Um, a lot of you guys um, following and a lot of you guys not. But I got quite a few messages regarding, Aki, can you make a video regarding this? So I thought I'll um, give a shot. Um, so this is, this, is, this is how I manage my trade. Let me explain to you so it would make um, more sense. Trading, in my opinion, in tra trading with fixed lot size will not grow your account, will end up blowing your account. Um, you need to work out your percentage. Um, so um, here's, a, here's an example uh, I want to show you um, if you were to take a trade and how I, how I would um, manage my risk. Um, so this is a 2000 account and this is the account most of you guys are trading with. So that, that would make a lot of sense to you uh, for you to um, would make things easier for you to understand as well. So let's say we're taking on this trade here. So we decide to we're going to buy here. We're going to, our target one is here and our final target two is there and our stop is here. So first thing is what, what I would do is I would quickly calculate my risk of 3%. So what is 3% of um, 2000 account? So that would be $60 or 60 pound depends what you're trading with. So 60. So I know uh, myself on this trade, maximum I'm going to lose on this trade is $60. I am happy to take a risk of $60. So next thing, how do I plan it? when I'm going to take my trade. How do I plan my lot size? Um, first, then I would do is 60. I know this is how much maximum I'm willing to take a risk. So I would go and say, I mean, a lot of um, software out there as well, which calculate risk itself. You just need to put your, um, the, um, the amount you want to risk and automatically calculate your risk for you. There is calculate the um, lot size for you. So there's, uh, I mean, I have shared a um, few software on my Telegram channel, but if you don't have it, um, what you can do is say $60, and um, this is all you know, six three percent divide by the pip, the where the stop is, the sixty five pip stop, and that would give you not point. Uh, if you're using a calculator, that would give you not point not two. So that's closest to one one dollar or one pound. And then, because you got two targets, what I would do is, I would divide my position to two. So I would have one position target here and another position target there. Basically what I'm doing is I'm just dividing my um, position here. So maximum I can trade with is closest to $1. So I just want to take two positions. So what I've done here is I divide into two positions. So I would first position I would go in with not 0.4 and another position not 0.5. So that is a closest to $1. And um, so first target with one position, I would have first target there. And with the second position, I would have the um, target set there and stop loss for both exactly the same place. So what would happen is if the market goes there, if the market goes there, automatically my first target will close. My first posi one position will get closed. And the next, if market goes all the way to there, then the another position will get closed itself. And that's how I do it. And other things I would do is if I, if the market goes and hit, my first target, my stop loss for the second position will come into break even, which means even if I, even if the market turned against me, I made a money on this trade. If that market is now from there goes and hit my stop, I'm out here because I moved my stop. And for some reason, if you, for, if you decide, okay, I'm not going to move my stop as yet. What would happen is because you booked your partial profit here, even if the market now reverse and hit your stop, even if you didn't move it, which means you lost very little money. You haven't lost much. So that is the reason that I do this. And I see doing this in a regular basis, it does make uh, a huge um, um, difference with my um, trading in terms of how I'm managing my risk and when everything's going well and how I profit myself. And the reason for first target to close is just to get you the satisfaction of winning factor. You, 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 you locked some money and that way it stops you from um, 
and keep watching your chart, monitoring your chart and making wrong decision in between. What if goes and hit my stop, I'm losing money. So it stops you from it. At least it books some profit, which means your trade is secured. And this is what I do, guys. So for example, if the market goes there, on the, in this example, if the market goes there, I made $18 with half position, this one. And if the market goes all the way to there, with half position all the way from there to there, um, how much have I made? I made 96 quid with half position. So if I add this half and this half closed here, so 18 plus 96, that's 114 quid. So $114 I made on that trade, if that trade goes and hit my final target from there. So, and I risked $60. So that is one, th one way of doing it. I mean, your target could be anywhere. It, it, that is just like for the example, your target could be here, your target could be there. But long as you're managing the way I'm just showing you, um, you will see um, the, the, there will be a lot of, um, um, you, you will find your way. You will make, you will stop you from panicking when you're taking your trades. I mean, you should never be in that position to panic because I know a lot of you guys are, uh, are do that. But you should never be in panic you know, when you're taking trades because this is the game that you need to work with percentage because we want to know when we are actually in the trade, going into the trade, when we're going to be planning our trade, we want to know exactly how much we're going to lose if things don't go as planned. And that is where the percentage comes. Another example that guys, you are guys are trading here with fixed lot size. So you, say you got 2000. The common one guys use is $2 to take a trade. So you decide to take a trade on this one, $62, sorry, 62, uh, 65 pips. So how much are you risking if you are to go in with 0 0.2? So if you are trading with fixed lot, which is every 100 trade with $1 or every 100 trade with 50 pips, and the most guys that I know uses every 100 $1 or every 150 cent or whatever way, and most of the guys uses $1, they think $1. That will that that is the um, good risk management. So I'll give you an example here. If you are trading the fixed lot size, mm -hmm. you decide randomly say, okay, today I am, this trade I'm going to go with one dollar, maybe say two dollars. Say you're going with not point two, so two dollars you're taking risk on this one, which means you are risking sixty five. Um, six, sixty five times two which means $130 you are taking risk on this trade if you're going with 0 0.2, which is the most a lot of you guys I know use. So you have taken that risk. So now that if the trade goes and stop you out, do you know how much risk you have taken on this trade? You are risking pretty much 6 7% on that trade. This is how, what you're risking by going with that percentage. So if you are taking that 7%, 8% risk on that trade, can you imagine if you got three wrong? Your account is not going to be there for long. So that is the reason that, and if that goes and here, start, take profit, yes, you will make a lot of money. But you need to look at the other side. What if things goes wrong? And that's where percentage comes to play. You can trade with this. So what about instead of 65 pips, what if the trade is, if your trade is 100 pips stop loss? what are you risking? You're still risking the 2%, sorry, 3%. If you trade like I do. So if I were trading this one, the target, everything is the same, but my stop is say 100 pips. What I would do is, what I would just say 60, this is my maximum, divided by 100. What does that give me? Not 0.6. So I can only trade with 60p now. So the, the bigger the um, stop, the smaller the lot. The smaller the stop, the bigger the lot when you're trading with percentage. And what happened? If things goes wrong, you losing the maximum of 3%. That 3% doesn't change. So that is the reason that when you guys, a lot of you guys see me taking small trades, a small stop loss, when I'm risking that kind of um, um, percentage, instead of me, all I need is about 60 pips, I pretty much made 66%. Um, it six all depends how you trade, guys. So this is the way I do it. And hopefully that makes a lot of sense to you guys. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Bye.